Howdy guys, this is Corecat13, I'm a woman with a deep voice, and we have some bad news. So, my original live reaction to the final stages of the game, um, yeah, the audio did not record for some reason. Yeah, for some reason my, um, my audio recording software recorded the game sound twice instead of my microphone, so... From here on out, until the end of the game, it's going to be post-commentary. I, I don't know how the fuck that happens. Like, seriously. The microphone was plugged in. It was... Like, it, it's set to record my microphone audio. But anyway, it, it's neither here nor there. So, uh... Well, I guess it's kind of like the, uh... The mid-season break of Super Mario Galaxy a little bit. Where I had to do post-commentary, which, yeah, spoilers, that that was post-commentary. But, anyway. So, I uh, hope you guys are doing okay today. Today is the 20th of May, 2024. Uh, today is a Monday. Um, probably not going to be able to get another video edited in time. For, um for a second post-commentary session because I have to take my cats to the vet early in the morning, which, ugh, I hate that. I hate doing anything in the morning, but it is what it is. The boys need to go to the vet. It's not. It's nothing bad, I promise. The The cats are fine. Um, they, it, it's just time for them to be um, snipped. So, yay. <laughs> Man, that's a low res texture. That that is that is quite ridiculous. Just how low res that is. Although, what do you expect? It's Switch. <laughs> uh, I'm sure that if we were playing this still on Steam, it'd probably look fine. But anywho, you gotta do what you gotta do to optimize for lower power, lower powered systems. Yes, I am capable of speaking the English language. <laughs> Good lord. <laughs> Oh, uh, my stuttering is so bad sometimes. <laughs> uh, you would think that after um, over 30 playthroughs, I would have learned to just, like, slow down my commentary a little bit, but that's just how I is. So, anyway. I can't believe that Thousand Year Door is only three days away. That's, that's freaking insane. So, uh, I know what I'm doing on, uh... Thursday evening, Friday evening, something like that. I'm probably going to be playing the Thousand Year Door remake. So that that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I'm going to try to do some editing on Wednesday to make sure that the, uh, the videos are done. Um, or at the very least, there's four videos ready for the rest of the week, which um, I think I have a plan for what I want to do. I'm um, thinking, like, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday. I don't know why, but that, to me, makes at least some degree of sense, because, you know, that's still four videos. It's still four days in the week. So it's, like, two videos near the start of the week and two videos at the very end of the week. It, it, it works, I guess. Even though I've recorded, like quite a few more videos, although who knows, it may actually, like in editing, end up realizing, oh crap, I don't have enough footage for a full 30 minutes. Which, to be fair, this video is not 30 minutes long. Uh, it's only like about 24, but uh, that, that should tell you just how much of these videos is really just me fucking up and just trying to keep the commentary going. First death, first burp. Oh. <laughs> There it is. Finally. Ooh, boy, I had some, uh... Let's see, let's see. Tapa Chico. Um, uh, yeah, I had some Tapa Chico. It was... Uh, it's pretty good. Although, has anyone noticed that a lot of sparkling waters, like... You don't really taste the flavors that are in there. It just tastes like water. Which is fine, but I just... I don't understand. It's like... You say it's one flavor, but it really isn't. It's just like, it's like it, it wafts a certain smell, which, you know, 
see if my hypothesis is correct on that. Yep. I do, in fact, smell blueberries. Which, uh, I'll, I'll be honest, for a good chunk of my life, I actually haven't... I, I didn't really try too many fruits. And that's because, um... Well, I, I lived with a relative that was highly allergic to most forms of fruit. So, that's fun. So, uh... When my uh, when a good number of family members moved in and well they eat quite a few fruits, uh, I finally got to try out a good number of them. Like um, I discovered, I really like raspberries. Raspberries are really really good. Blackberries are okay too, I guess. Um, personally, I do prefer raspberries, but blackberries are pretty good. Like, up to this point, I had not tried blackberries, like, at all. I think I had tried raspberries, like, maybe a couple of times. Um, blueberries, I didn't really have too many of. In fact, I don't think I had ever actually tried a real blueberry. Which, uh, yeah, blueberries are fine. Um, not really a big fan of the fact that, um, the blueberry has kind of, like, a... I wouldn't say like a weird texture or whatever like the texture is fine it's just like the flavor is just kind of not my thing but you know what is my thing mangoes i love mangoes mangoes are good and i noticed that a lot of people don't really like mangoes which i find weird like mangoes to me are just like the perfect balance between like sweet and tart it's just really nice it's a really good fruit it's a very um it's a very potent taste. So you actually, it, it tells you right away, it's like, I'm a mango. Unlike so many other fruits, which have a more uh, subtle taste, which that gets me like really wondering. It's like, there are so many like, quote unquote, fruit flavored treats or whatever, like raspberries and stuff. They don't really taste like the fruit they say they do. Like the fruits always have like, a much more subtle taste like uh, strawberries are not quite that sweet apples obviously apples can have a certain flavor pears I would say are probably the ones that are like the worst offenders because like pears don't really have much of a taste it's more of a texture thing and I like pears whenever it has like a decent flavor but if you get pears at the exact wrong time or whatever, they just taste kind of bland. It's weird. Bananas, bananas thankfully do have a lot of flavor and stuff. But I don't know. It's just, it, it's bizarre. Raspberries. Oh my god, raspberries. Don't get me started on raspberries. Raspberry flavored things do not taste that much like raspberries. They taste too sweet. Raspberries are actually pretty tart. So it's like raspberries are just kind of like, like you can kind of taste the raspberry, but not really, if that makes sense. Anyway, um, yeah, the end of the stage actually caught me a bit off guard. And I bet you are wondering what that random edit was whenever I was trying to figure out how to do the fly thing. Um, it was actually me just trying to look at a truck or something, and I was just like, okay, wh wh why is this here? So I cut the truck. I honestly should have just cut out that whole me trying to figure it out thing. But, I, I don't know. I'm kind of going back and forth. It's like, do I want to go back and edit that? But at this point, I really don't. Because I just don't have the time. And these look like granola bars. <laughs> Honestly, anything with this texture or whatever, like, they don't look like buildings and stuff. They look like granola bars. Or, like, maybe not granola bars, but, like, those fruit bars or whatever that have, like, the breading or whatever. I don't know what you call them. Like, they're not quite Fig Newtons, but they have kind of a similar texture or whatever. I mean, they're really good, but at the same time, I don't, I don't know. It just, like, meh. Excuse me, good lord. Hmm, tasting that spicy ramen I had earlier. There we go, gotta ring that notification bell. T 
<laughs> I don't know. I don't know why I started saying that, but every time I see a bell now, that that's what's going to be. It's going to be the notification bell. Because for some reason, YouTube hates us. I want to know why YouTube decided that was a great idea. It's just like, just make it easier for the algorithm to recommend videos. Or is it just like a programming problem? So they had to like put a band-aid solution with the bell? Like, I, I don't understand that. That's very bizarre. I really want to play on my Steam Deck right now, but I got to go to bed. Now I can get, ooh, that was a, that was a flickering texture right there. Yes, sorry, Bob. Anyway, yeah, I, I want to play on my Steam Deck a little bit, but at the same time, it's just like, do I have time? <laughs> uh, one of the one of the problems when you're a gamer is just like time. Yeah, anyway, um, let me think. I actually was having trouble like getting the motivation to record this audio today. And I can't really explain why. It's just like, I was, I guess part of it was just like the day before honestly did kick my ass. It was a very stressful day yesterday, which would have been uh, Saturday the 18th, whenever I'm recording this anyway. Like, I, I could go like on a big whole rant about it, but it really just comes down to just like, Two people cannot make a sales weekend work. I'm just saying that much. And we're just gonna leave it there. It, it, it was an overly stressful night. And I guess it really just kind of wiped me out. Though I did go see a friend or whatever. Um, I didn't stay until like seven, like I usually do. Instead, I went home like around 5.30. And I was pretty much out by the time I got home. And I stayed asleep until like nearly 12 hours later. Uh, I think it was more like 10 and a half to 11 hours, but still, I, I was fucking wiped out. And that's just been kind of the case for like really busy weekends or whatever. Um, the weekends just, my God, just after so many people or whatever, my body just, my body's just like, and I'm wiped out, do not make me socialize or do anything else so I guess I finally got that one day where I just got to relax and do mostly nothing being mostly just inconspicuous also no I don't know how that worked either I still am questioning how the fuck that enemy got killed but why question it he died it's great Um, anyway, so, uh, I think I, I actually have been like researching the topic of like planets beyond Neptune, not including Pluto. Pluto's a dwarf planet. I know, I know that that comes as a shock. As much as I love Pluto, it, it's a dwarf planet. I think we need to just stop whining. It's a different class of object. It is what it is. Although... In my research or whatever, because in June, I am planning on doing, like, more art videos and stuff. And, yeah, spoiler alert, in case you guys missed the last video, which I'm not entirely sure. Fuck that laser, by the way. Um, in case you guys missed the update, which I don't know if I said. Anyway, uh, I am going to take June off of this channel, and I'm going to try to get my second channel rebooted so that it can become an art channel. And honestly, that, that's that been a big desire of mine for a good long while is to go back and start doing art videos again because that was honestly really fun. The stress is just kind of like finding time in between like doing the Let's Plays and stuff. Which is why I'm trying to get a lot more videos recorded now so that I can get them scheduled and published before my June break. Which, that does mean that I think Underhero is probably going to be delayed a little bit. But yeah, so um, in my research... 
for one of the videos that I was doing, which would be coming up with concepts for uh, Planets 9 and 10, which is the tentative name for a small ice giant and terrestrial planet out beyond Neptune and somewhere in the Kuiper Belt. I, I don't know. Um, I discovered that there are only eight recognized dwarf planets. Like, I thought there were nine, but apparently there are eight dwarf planets in the solar system. Also, there is what the boss of World 4 looks like. Somehow I didn't piece that together, but anyway. Um, also, the only boss in the game that has a 3D model, which I find very fascinating. But yeah, there are only eight recognized dwarf planets with the um, original ninth one, which would have been Orcus. Apparently, it is not recognized, which I thought it was. I thought Orcus was recognized as a dwarf planet, but apparently it is not. Instead, the uh, recognized dwarf planets are um, Ceres, Pluto, Eris, or Eris, as I found out as an alternate pronunciation. Um, Haumea, Gong Gong, Maki Maki, or Make Make, something like that. Quoar, and uh, Sadna, Sadna. Which I find oddly fitting. I mean, there are eight classical planets and eight dwarf planets. I think that's oddly interesting that there are only eight of each that are recognized. Which, by the way, that's the technical name for the um, the main eight. Mercury through Neptune. Apparently they are called, quote-unquote, classical planets. Which, um... I'm not gonna lie, I find a little bit strange. I mean, why not just call them major planets? Like, major planets and dwarf planets. There you go. It... It balances out. That way it just kind of denotes like this is the main group, which are big, and here are the little group, which are tiny. <laughs> Although, who knows, maybe there'll be like more recognized dwarf planets here and there. But anyway, I mentioned that um, just because I found it interesting. It was an interesting little bit of research. So, uh, yeah, there you go. But yeah, so, um, hope you guys are gonna, hope you guys are looking forward to, uh, the art videos coming up in June. I mean, I personally am. It's gonna be something a little bit different. It's gonna be pretty interesting. It's gonna be fun. Um, I'm going back and forth whether or not I want to do, like, commentary for... The art videos, um, I've kind of gotten, like, mixed opinions from, like, some of my friends that I've been asking, but, um, I don't know. I think for some, I might do, like, commentary, like, for the Planet 9 video, I might do, um, some commentary, like, just kind of give some background on, like, what Planet 9's like, what my thought process is, why I chose the names that I chose, which... Um, in case you guys are wondering, Planet 10, I do actually have a name set in mind for, and it's actually the Roman equivalent of Persephone, because I thought that would be pretty appropriate. Like, I want Persephone to be the name for that particular planet, because, ironically, Planet 10 is supposed to be the closer of the two. So I think that a terrestrial planet beyond Neptune should probably get that name just in honor of Pluto, so that, you know, the one after Neptune is named for a deity of the underworld. I think any moons that are discovered should be named for monsters of the underworld, like uh, Typhon, Echidna, which, by the way, that's actually where the uh, animal gets its name, is from the Greek monster and mother of the, uh, and mother of Typhon. I think she's the mother of Typhon. I could be wrong, though. Um, obviously Hydra is off the list because Pluto has Hydra. Um, I don't know. 
but that that's just like my idea. I'm not gonna reveal what I have for Planet Nine because I'm not entirely like set on a name. Uh, it is definitely going to be a female deity from Greek or Roman mythology. And it's probably either gonna be a Titanus, a primordial god, or one of the Pantheon. That's all I'm gonna reveal about that. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while. I've also just been um, wanting to redo some artwork that I did from like years ago. Because um, one of the original like things I did for this channel before it became a Let's Play channel was um, art. It was actually an art channel. Um, I kind of stopped because I wanted to do Let's Plays and stuff and it just didn't fit. So, um, yeah, now, now's an opportunity to kind of rebrand and make the original archive channel into something of an art channel. Because, in case you guys don't know, According to Pluto is actually my art brand. It's like my all-encompassing art brand that I use, like, everywhere. Like, I use it for Twitter, I use it for Tumblr, I use it for my DeviantArt page. It's now my art brand. So, uh, yeah. There you go. Ugh, and now I'm out of breath. Good lord. And I got that phlegm trying to get in my poot. Which I think was happening during the original recording, too. <laughs> How, how oddly appropriate that I, I am very flummy all of a sudden. I think it's probably because of the mac and cheese I had. It was pretty damn good, too. Gotta have that deluxe craft mac and cheese. <sighs> yeah, th those, are, those are my thoughts of the day. Okay, that background down there looks like something from Super Mario Galaxy. Like, it reminds me of, um, it reminds me of something you would see in Gust Garden Galaxy or Freeze Flame Galaxy. Honestly, this whole world feels like Freeze Flame Galaxy, but expanded upon. Which I find very interesting. So, any hoodles with the pink poodles, just casually sliding on down. Gotta enjoy all these lovely spikes. I think I was actually ranting in the original recording of this, like one of my least favorite things about uh, video games is like instant death spikes. Which, uh, yeah, they are. <laughs> and that's all I gotta say about that. Honestly, I was just going on like a big tirade and stuff because I was getting so frustrated with that level. But now that I am removed, I'm a lot calmer, so I don't have to think about it. Mm -mm -mm. Alrighty. Well, all that being said, I did not mean to do that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and next time on Demon Turf, we will finish World 4, Part 1. See you then.